Well, Uncle Doug. Uncle Mark. It is it is the the, the most wonderful time of the year. It's the most. Where yeah. we explore uh, exciting new possibilities for the year to come. Yes. And and I believe Uncle Dan you have I have I have some uh, I I have it's it's probably too late now. Mm. But I have what could be the best gift idea. Uh, known to man, the best Saturnalia ever. Yeah, exactly. We'll we'll, we'll get to that. Um, yeah. Dear friends, there's nothing new under the sun. Mm. Every time I feel like our society has advanced, uh, like we've abandoned the backward ways of the past, I find something that reminds me that we're still just the dumb apes that we are. Only now we you have know. Netflix and instant pots. Instant pots. <laughs> on the se- on the flip side of that, every time I think that this period has somehow given us our lamest and most idiotic items or practices, I find that every other era was just as moronic. So I guess that's a good thing. So in today's installment of Everything Old is New Again, or vice versa, mm. we're going to discuss the fascinating ancient precursor of truck nuts flipping people off and <laughs> drawing dicks on everything. Huh. And fascinating is literally the perfect correct perfectly correct word in fact it's way too on the nose because as we'll learn those phalluses graffitied all over everything are literally where we get that word what uh we'll get to it all right i actually stumbled on this subject a few a few weeks ago when i was researching the evil eye for episode 62 yeah uh and you'll remember that on that episode i discussed a few kinds of amulets and trinkets intended to ward off the curses that come from an envious or angry glare hmm uh, well, there was one kind that I didn't talk about, uh, one that dates back to ancient Rome and a god named Fascinus. Fascinus? Mm-hmm. Now, I, I regret to inform you to, that I can't actually tell you much about Fascinus. Uh, it seems that when the Christians rose to power, they scrubbed all the fun, sexy stuff out of the ancient religions. <laughs> so we don't know much uh, we don't have like many records for this guy at all. Really? Yeah, unfortunately. Which is why this isn't a graveyard of the gods segment. Hey, Christians, could you stop fucking everything up? Right? Just for a minute. Just leave some color in just the world. Just one millennium. Just, just back the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. The answer to yeah. that will be a resounding no. Clearly, clearly from, a no. From the Christians. Uh, that's a no from me. Um so we don't we don't have records for this guy, which is why uh, this isn't a graveyard of the gods. But we do know his symbol, which is a cock, or, or a winged cock, or a oh. cock with two deer legs or goat legs, maybe. Jesus, with a cock for a tail, and between its legs, a cock. Oh my God! <laughs> uh, these images have been found in many forms in archaeological sites all over Europe, Northern Africa, Eurasia. Anywhere there were Romans, there were dicks. <laughs> and with good reason, because if you believe their stupid religion, uh, Fastinus was a god of protection. And if you wore a necklace with a penis on it, or a ring, or a tru- trucker cap, or whatever, <laughs> you were protected against the evil envy of others. Huh. That protection is key to the etymology I referred to before. Because if someone tried to put that evil hokum on you, and you happened to be wearing a necklace with a dangling dong, you, the would-be enchanter would be literally fascinated. And who wouldn't be fascinated by a person wearing cock jewelry? Well, yeah, what, and what I'm says, interested. What says protection like an exposed male penis? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I've never felt so secure. <laughs> or I, I guess an exposed penis, given that it's always going to be a male penis. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. We, we have a much more uh, nuanced view of, of gender these True days. True enough. Eventually, uh, the, word, uh, the word got a little looser in definition, and it came to mean not just warding off the spell of others, but casting magic yourself. Thus, mm. you, you, if you could enchant someone, you could fascinate them. Interesting. And then it came to be, yeah. uh, as we know, the, you know these, these, this was sort of Latinate versions of these to begin with, and right. it found its way into the English lexicon. Anyway, uh, the Romans... Loved their magic dicks so much, uh, th- which were also called by the, by the way the dicks themselves were also called fascinus or fascinum, uh, that you could find them carved into the paving stones in Pompeii, made into wind chimes known as tintinabula. Uh, mm. There's a one of there's a delightful image of one that's like a it's a guy 
with a giant cock coming out of his, where cocks come out of, and there are bells dangling from all parts of him, and the cock turn it, it turns up and becomes a monster that he has to fight. He's fighting well, his own monster. Cock. I think I think there's a lot there. <laughs> it, it's I think there's a lot there. I thought you might like that. Yeah, and also it's it's uh, Pompeii is a, <laughs> uh, a clear example of how effective these things were at warding off right <laughs> the badness. Right. Well, you know, you can ward off the evil eye all you want, but when the evil eye comes from a volcano, yeah, the evil eye is Mount Etna. It's not. It's not as easy. Right. You got to have a big dick for that one. Big dick. Clog uh, up that volcano. Yes, indeed. Uh, this, they, were, they were made into every kind of jewelry or adornment. Um, a lot of them look like key fobs or cell phone dangles. Mm-hmm. Uh, and chiseled into buildings, which leads me to m- possibly my favorite image in all of this research, which is a bas-relief carving from Leptis Magna in modern-day Libya, which is an image of that two-legged penis using its penis to ejaculate into an eye that has a scorpion sitting on it. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a very fascinating thing. Maybe we'll uh, put that pic into the show notes on howtoheretic.com so that we can... Yeah, I, so wonder, that... I wonder what incident uh, uh, created that moment. Like, what, <laughs> what was happening in Libya at the moment? I think it's just, you know, warding off that, that evil eye. Yeah. By jizzing into it. <laughs> yep, with your dick stick. With your... With your the, look, if you're a giant dick, the one thing you want to do is have a dick. Just be sure you have a dick if yeah. you're a dick. Um... So anyway, uh, Fastinus and his symbol were so important to the ancient Romans that in a turn of fate that may be the most perfect bit of irony yet invented, the cult of Fastinus was tended to by the revered Vestal Virgins. How about that? Of course. Um, the, the Vestal Virgins were uh, revered priestesses of Vesta who took a 30-year vow of celibacy, <clears throat> who kept the sacred eternal flame burning. Mm. Eternal flames. Yeah. And That's my who, favorite Tiffany song. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and who apparently were to look after the giant cock. Well, it's hard for me to pick a favorite, actually, <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it. I mean, that's understandable. Sorry, what were we talking about? Uh, giant cocks. Oh, yeah. I'm shocked that you would get off, that, that you would jump that groove. Well, when I'm going through my, my Tiffany library in my head, I sometimes... It's true. It's true. You know, they, they would literally take these... Ba- they, like, there are stories about... Like celebrations where they would take huge, giant penis st- statues and like cart them through the town for festivals and whatever. Really? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, literally. When a general, so remember how I mentioned truck nuts earlier? Mm. Yeah, I wasn't joking. When a general was triumphant in battle, the Vestal Virgins would hang a dick under his chariot oh. to protect him from Nvidia, which I, was, I was the so evil eye. You were going to say he would ride into town on a giant dick, but no, <laughs> no. Fine. No, but he was swinging, like, literally, the guys with truck nuts just have it wrong. They need to not do nuts. They need to do a cock, and then it will protect them from the envy of all of those looking on and admiring their F-150. What they actually need to do is go back in time and just get their dad to say, I love you once, so they wouldn't have these (laughs) fucking issues and hanging gonads on the back of their goddamn Emmys. That's what they need to do. It's just not going to happen. So I, that's easier than the penis, I think. It's it's not. In point of fact, the penis is the correct uh, is the easier solution to. Well, that. if I could turn back time, oh, oh. Yeah, that's a fanta- my favorite chair song. Damn it! And video. We've lost. We've lost Uncle Mark. <laughs> I'll just turn off his mic. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Mark is, has gone into MTV. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> anyway, um, so yeah, uh, I also mentioned the good old bird earlier. Um, the, the middle finger gesture that Americans are so fond of when someone cuts us off in traffic mm. is a form of fasten us. Really? The ancients would raise their biggest finger as a stand-in for the phallus, thus warding that? off those crusty looks from their jealous neighbors. How about that? So if somebody gave you a dirty... I love that Uncle Mark just actually looked at his fingers to check. <laughs> it, it is the biggest one. I'll be damned. It sure is. <laughs> Except for that weird one on the side of my hand. Well, that's... Yeah. I don't know what that one's for. <laughs> Nobody does. Yeah. The opposable one? Yeah. It's all fucked yeah. up. <laughs> but yeah, literally, like, that was that was your 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 huh. penis really? finger. So when you show that to somebody, you're warding off their it's evil eye. It's great to know that, that garbage lowbrow culture has such 
august ancient origins. Doesn't it, doesn't it feel a little better now? Yeah, it does feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, see, so there you go. Um, so yeah, the next time you see that some kid in trouble for drawing a dick on his locker, or you run across one of the multiple instances I have found of a pilot making a cock and balls <laughs> appear in the sky. <laughs> yeah, those marines, those marines almost got disciplined for doing they that. They did. Yeah, they did. It's kind of amazing. Uh, <laughs> it, instead of dismissing it as childish and immature, realize that it might be an homage did you, to ancient religion. Did you see when the Mars rover did that? Yeah, it did, they didn't mean to, but it drove a straight line, <laughs> and then because of the way it turns, uh, it looks. It, it looks just like made they drew a giant penis on Mars. Two balls. <laughs> and yeah. Stuff. It's yeah, brilliant. It's. You know, life is fun. You got to have some fun in, in the have world. Some fun, Fly, and, uh, and make a big dick in the sky. That's right. Drawing dicks on everything has a, a an ancient and uh, a sacred heritage. So, all you middle school uh, listeners out there who've gotten in trouble for this, <laughs> yeah, you can play this for your principal exactly, <laughs> and uh, and you'll be off the hook. I promise. Yeah, literally <laughs> guaranteed. And, and but but you know what? Get creative about it because the Romans were fun. They, there's one there's one winged cock I saw that has two like eagle legs and the wings and it's holding in each of its talons a cock <laughs> <laughs> two separate cocks yes yeah. yes each each of its feet is holding a cock nice. it's I it, this they had a lot of fun with this thing wow. sure so did. many rings and things that just yeah and then so, Christianity boo right. So. so remember, fasten us, uh, and then acknowledge, uh, and uh, yeah. So so yeah. That's why when any, whenever anybody's seen me naked, they just kind of whisper, "Fascinating." Yeah. Right. Well, I think we're all a little fascinated by a cock. Yeah. How, how can you not? One be? way or another. It's so. literally right. the weirdest uh, anatomical thing. Y- yours or somebody else's? Well, mine. Well, I'm saying. Wait, yours isn't? I'm saying all of us are infatuated with either ours or someone else's. Oh, oh. Or all of the above. So, mm-hmm. and thought you, know, you were calling my cock weird. I would never say that. And that, dear listeners, <laughs> is the true meaning of Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, exactly. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yes, let's move on. Moving on. Moving on.